Yeah, no, it's really nice. You know, we spend our whole lives thinking about how to win bike races, and uh, to be honest, like we're so focused on that, we don't think about anything else. And when you get something in the post, you know, approaching Christmas, saying that you're going to be recognised by Queen and Country to get an OBE, yeah, it's great. So uh, it's been nice to get down here with my girlfriend and the family and celebrate it together as well. And what does the Prince of Wales say to you? Well, he uh, first of all he said welcome back because. Funnily enough, it was pretty much eight, year, eight years ago to the day that he gave me an MBE. So um, he said, welcome back. He asked if I was still going to be furiously pedaling, as he put it, um, which I said, yes, I am. I'm going to go for another Olympics. He, I then uh, made a bit of small talk about um, you know, where he lives. He lives quite close to my parents' house. Um, so we talked about that a little bit and uh, the village and, uh, and so on. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure it all happened quite quickly, but... It was a nice conversation and, uh, yeah, it's nice to meet him again. Have you had for quite a favourite team then? Yeah, I guess so. What would you say has been a highlight thus far of your career? Uh, I mean, th there's been uh, many good moments, many bad moments, but I think that the one highlight for sure would be w winning the gold medal in Rio. Um, it was hard work this time, really hard work. And um, as you'd expect, it's never easy winning Olympic gold, but, you know, I had back injuries and it, it was unusual for me to be sort of fighting to make the team and it, it just felt like everything was a struggle this time around. And when we finally scraped that gold medal in a big horrible final against the Australians, it, it just made it all the more sort of worthwhile and again to get this off the back of that is even better. And so you're working towards uh, 2020 then? Yeah, definitely. I'm taking a year or two on the road so I can just um, work on my fitness and keep life a little bit more low-key for the next year or two and then as soon as we hit winter 2018 I'm all about the track again one last hurrah in Tokyo and then I think that'll be me done